Andy Goss, President and CEO of Jaguar Land Rover North America. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Is the American luxury buyer back? I think back in force, actually. Um, in many ways, for us, they've never gone away. Because here we are in New York for the New York Auto Show today, launching three brand new cars. But, but one of the reasons we chose to show is that this is the biggest market for Range Rover in the world. Not just the USA, but the New York metro area. So, you know, we, we've had strong demand all the way through. But certainly this year, with sales up 21%, I think the answer to your question is that they are absolutely back in the market. And talk a little bit about the three cars that you're unveiling here at the New York Auto Show. What demographic are they meant to target? What sort of price point are they at? Is it different than what's already on the market that you've got, uh, that you're offering right now? Well, our big deal today is that this is the global launch of Range Rover Sport. And I say it's, it's our biggest selling car in the States, and the States is the biggest market for Range Rover Sport. So we have a new vehicle that we launched late summer onto the US market. We've taken the opportunity to show the car, car here today. Just below $64,000 at a price level, and I can tell you, if sales-wise, it's going to be really hot. But then we've got two Jaguar derivatives of our, our, our performance Jaguars. 174,000, very limited vehicle, um, the XKR SGT, but the XJR as well, which is a, a performance sedan, the top performance sedan, 550 brake horsepower, and all of them really are targeting high net worth customers, slightly different than the Range Rover for Jaguar, but people who really enjoy driving performance. That's the big deal for us. Uh, what are you thinking in terms of sales going forward for the remainder of this year? Well, on the Land Rover side, you know, we're already up 26% so far this year. And to a certain degree, from our perspective, it's all about supply, not demand. We've got strong, strong demand. But clearly, when we're launching new vehicles and you've got new model launch cadence, we need to maximise quality as well as bringing the cars to the marketplace. So I think we'll sell as many Land Rovers as we can supply the market with. Jaguar's already up 10% so far this year before the F-Type comes out. So F-Type is out in late May and that again will be a big incremental volume seller. So we'll have a double digit increase on both brands really. Andy Goss, President and CEO of Jaguar Land Rover North America. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, pleasure to be here again. Nice to see you.